Hey friends, it's me, the Sunlight Oracle, and I'm a psychic medium based in Los Angeles. You okay? What this means is that I can perceive spirit communication from the other side. I can talk to people who have crossed over and connect them to their loved ones who still exist here on the material plane. How this works is I start to see things and feel things and hear things and know things about these people that are otherwise unknowable or ungoogleable. It's super normal to hear me describe what I do for a living and become skeptical. I think skepticism is very healthy and respectful skepticism is totally welcome in my practice. I as a medium even feel like I have moments of skepticism every now and again. Last week I gave a reading to a woman named Holly and I was able to connect her with her son Anthony who tragically died at the age of 20. It is my preferred method of mediumship to have absolutely no information about the sitter or the person they want to contact. So the first line of business for me is to sit, be present, and figure out who is there to connect. The first energy I feel for you, Holly, a person coming through is actually presenting as someone who's much younger than you. I have a male here who would be like a young man. Does that make sense to you? Yes. This person shows up behind me, which is often an indicator that this is a son. Does that make sense for you? Yes? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> I haven't told her nothing. I got chills too. The reading went really well and I was able to find ungoogleable evidence or evidence that I would not possibly otherwise know about Holly and Anthony and she was really happy with it. I think you would also understand that with his with his passing there would have been a period of time where you didn't necessarily feel him or feel connected to him. I feel that you struggled to kind of um, yes, that's what he's saying. There was a gap in time where there was like a division and he wants to say like, mom, that's when I had to work on me because I also feel that substance abuse is quite rampant in his system. I actually feel that there are substances even in his system at the time of his passing. So I feel that when he gets over there, he has, it, he shows me like this ball of yarn that needs to be on wow does that make sense there's just a lot of um, <laughs> yes it makes total sense go ahead <laughs> wonderful wonderful there's, there's the yarn coming out and um <laughs> he part of un, unraveling that is um coming across some knots here and there a lot of that having to do with recovery he wants you to know he doesn't use uh he doesn't drink He's here and he very much like wants to assume the role that he always wanted. It's very emotional. After I disconnected from the other side, Holly and I debriefed her session. Um, do you mind sharing with me what, what the ball of yarn, what the significance was there or when it clicked for you? <laughs> this is funny. Well, it's not funny, but um, after his passing, I grieved really bad. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and um, the yarn is... Because I was in bed for two and a half years. I believe it. And yeah, I mean, I was dying basically. Yeah. I, yeah. And so my boyfriend would try to give me hobbies or whatnot to keep me busy and try to get my mind off of just him being gone. And um, so I picked up crocheting. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. And we... And we, I had so many bars, ball, balls of yarn and they would get like rat nests. Yep. And I, so he made, he made me a, a holder to hold it, to help like wrap it on. And so I'd sit in bed for hours undoing knots out of this yarn. Oh, I got chills. That's so great. Yes. So While we were debriefing at the end of her session, her boyfriend who had been sitting in the corner observing the whole time came forward on the screen and expressed to me some of his skepticism regarding mediumship. And he wasn't anti, well, I'll just let tell you this. He wasn't anti and he wasn't looking for proof or anything, but he's, he's very skeptical, skeptical, Yeah, that's but not cool. totally against it, but like skeptical, you know, so this is true. But when you were saying stuff, he's over here going, Oh, good. I'm so glad he here. This is Sean. Hold on. Hi, Sean. There's, hello. <laughs> There, there's people that have gifts. Yeah. And then there's people that bullshit. A lot more people that bullshit than, than there are people that have gifts. It's few and far between you find yeah. people with your knowledge and your skill capability. set, capability, and that that can do this. 
Because Thank you. I feel like you even just saying that for me gives me validation because I also am skeptical. I mean, I think a lot of good mediums are sometimes it's like, I don't know what this is or why I know these things, but I do. So hearing you, I'm just glad that you guys got something out of it. Honestly, that's all I'm trying to do is make people feel better. Okay, so I love conversations like that because it really gets me to look inward and refine my belief system and figure out where I stand with my practice. So here are my personal beliefs regarding mediumship as it relates to my own personal experiences. The first one is that nobody knows exactly what happens when we die. And anyone who claims to know what happens when we die is likely spinning a tail. Two, I have absolutely no desire to convert anyone into believing in mediumship. You can take it or leave it, my friends. <laughs> I believe things exist beyond the material plane and I often tap into these spaces while I'm doing my mediumistic work and that's precisely where I find the ungoogleable information that pertains to my clients and my fellow human beings. Four, we are all intricately connected to each other and every living being. Five, mediumship can be extremely healing to those who are suffering from grief. Number six, I believe that everyone has an intuition and what makes me talented at this work is none other than my intense interest, discipline, and devotion to developing my skill set. In other words, anyone can do what I do. I hope this video makes clear where I stand as a psychic medium. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments because I absolutely love talking about what I do. I love talking to anyone about it because I know that it has the radical potential to heal people from deep grief and alter their worldview. So thanks for being here. Please again, like, subscribe, ask questions, and um, have a great day.